Hello everyone. Uh, my name is Glenn Hall. Today is August 28th, 2021. This video is called This Is It, Faith Destroyed. I just finished watching a uh, five and a half hour video by, um, five and a quarter actually, by a man named Altion Childs. Uh, some of you probably know him. I had never heard of him until t two days ago, I think, two or three, when I began watching this, and I've watched it um, a little bit each day over the last couple of days. And what it is is a um, expose of Freemasonry. Altion uh, is an ex-Freemason, and he tells you what Freemasonry is. Freemasonry is the satanic religion that controls the world. So in within the paradigm of what I've taught over the last uh, couple of years, you could think of it as being Mystery Babylon. Mystery Babylon. It is a mystery because it's hidden um, it's secret. It's a secret society, and yet it rules the world. All of the, all of the, the players that we know, all of the people in power that we know, ha are part of Freemasonry. And he shows you very clearly in this. So I, I am going to put a link to the video, um, in the information that you can find below. <clears throat> Altion does not even touch the current crisis that we are in in the world with respect to the planned pandemic. Everyone, if you are not aware of what's happening with respect to that, you need to begin to look at things like graphene oxide, and the poisons that are in this jab that are maiming and killing people and will probably lead to the deaths of millions, if not billions of people on the earth. It really has been a, a difficult thing for me to wrap my mind around to to really say this is it this this is it this is the time where satan is showing his full hand and attempting to usher in his kingdom I do not expect it to get better before it gets a lot worse. And that's why I'm putting out this video. What do we do? What do we do? Well, it's also been the subject of several recent songs. And I'll, let me just try to read you the lyrics of a brand new song I wrote. Uh, began writing this on August 25th, so probably began writing the song the same day I began watching this video. Uh, and I've been very surprised by the contents of the video. I certainly encourage you to watch it. I think you should watch it all. Uh, don't skip past things because it's important to see everything that he puts in it. He, uh, Altion put in tons of hours of work to, to make this video, and it, it is... Um, superb. So let me just read the words of this new song to you. Your world's destroyed. They lied about everything. They treat you like a toy. Faith destroyed. What do you do when your world comes tumbling down? To explain why that's there, 
what I have in mind is there are going to be millions upon millions, perhaps even billions, of Christians, people who call themselves Christians, who are going to wake up suddenly to the satanic reality that rules the world. And what are they going to do? Their faith, their preachers, their pastors, their leaders never told them about Freemasonry. Their leaders never exposed sin in society. Their leaders did not prepare them for what is coming. But don't just blame their leaders. They didn't prepare themselves. John tells us in 1 John, you need that no man teach you. What he's saying is that when you follow God, the Holy Spirit will teach you and the Holy Spirit will bring you into all truth. But see, the multitude of Christians, they have not known that. <clears throat> they have not. You, I read a very interesting uh, chapter out of a book by George MacDonald today. My wife asked me to read it to help her understand a, a little part of it because he's had, there's a character in the book having a conversation with his mother. And the mother is a good dyed-in-the-wool Calvinist with very strong doctrinal views like doctrines of the atonement. And, you know, what does the atonement of Christ mean for you? So she and her son are talking about that. And the son basically brings it around to her in the conversation that the issue isn't just, isn't believing in the atonement. The issue is knowing that we have a God who loves us and that wants us to become like him. He is our father. He is our creator. He loves us and he wants us to become like him. Well, what did Jesus say, you know, in the Beatitudes in the book of um, Matthew? In Matthew 5.48, after Jesus says some very poignant things, he then says, You therefore must be perfect, as your heavenly Father is perfect. You know, people ask me sometimes, what does it mean to be an overcomer? And the overcomers, of course, are mentioned very often in the book of Revelation. Each of the seven churches in chapters 2 and 3 have overcomers. What is an overcomer? An overcomer is someone who wants to become perfect, like his father. He wants to become perfect, like his brother, Jesus. So... Because we want to become perfect, then we obey the Word of God. We obey the things that the Scriptures say. We do the things that Scripture says to do, and we don't do the things that the Scripture says don't do. But a lot of Christians have not been taught that. Instead, they've been taught to accept every sort of sin and evil and to be tolerant of evil. And so we live in a time where now when, when what Satan wants to do fully unfolds before people and they realize, they realize the catastrophe that we are in. And we are in a catastrophe. When they realize that, their faith will be destroyed. So back to the song lyrics faith destroyed what do you do when your world comes tumbling down 
Well, then it moves into a refrain that says, pray to your father, pray through the storm. Remember all you've learned from him since the day you were born. The day of our new birth, the day that we began to really believe in Jesus, began to believe in God. Pray to your Father. Trust in his word. Remember all you learned from him since the day you first heard. That's the answer to faith destroyed. We have to develop our one-on-one -on -one relationship with God, with our Father. Understand that He is totally for us. You still may be caught up in some kind of sin. I think everyone is going to still have some kind of sin all the way up until the time that they are finally either glorified in this flesh or, or the time that they die and come into the presence of God. And it's only when we become fully perfect that we're able to enter into the kingdom of God or enter into New Jerusalem, the city of God. <clears throat> then the song, I repeat all of that again <clears throat> because it's very important for people to understand those words. So I'll go ahead and read them again, okay? Your world's destroyed. They lied about everything. They treat you like a toy. Faith destroyed. What do you do when your world comes tumbling down? Pray to your Father. Pray through the storm. Remember all you've learned from Him since the day you were born. Pray to your Father. Trust in His Word. Remember all you learned from Him since the day you first heard. Have you heard the Word of God? Do you know the Word of God yet? If you don't, read your Bible. The Bible contains the written Word of God. And then it goes to a bridge that goes like this. The sons of God are coming soon to rule the world with a rod of iron. They'll destroy the devil's work, and with their power, they will hurl. They will hurl Satan and his minions into the outer darkness. And then it ends with this last verse. The world's destroyed. What will they do? when they see their city crumbled down. Their world's destroyed. What will they do when they see that faith has won her crown? We are now in the place where this is the final lap. This is, we are at the place now where we either win or lose our crown. The world's destroyed. What will they do when they see their city crumbled down? What city is that? The great city, Babylon the Great. Their world's destroyed. What will they do when they see that faith has won her crown? First, for you who believe in Jesus, you need to see what's happening. You need to stop playing along with it because this is the end. This is the end game. This is it. You can't, you can't play church. You can't play around with your faith in God, you can't play around with God any any longer. You can't do it. This is it.
Last night, my wife and I at dinner, we uh, were talking with uh, our one child who still lives at home. We have five children, and the youngest is 27. And um, at dinner, we were sharing with him decisions that we have made, my wife and I have made concerning our lives and where we are and what we intend to do. And we just told him very clearly that these decisions could lead to our death. We're not going to take the mark of the beast. We may not be able to buy and sell. We may not be able to get food. They may come for us. We don't know. Will I go willingly? No. This is my dominion. This is my jurisdiction. You cannot pass. You cannot take me. I'm not going with you willingly. I am standing for truth. And if it means I die, then I die. That's simply the way it is. And we have to face that reality and that fact that that's where we are in time. But be encouraged and be of good cheer. For as the song ends, the world's destroyed. What will they do when they see their city crumbled down? When they see their satanic system crumbled down, what will they do? Their world's destroyed. What will they do when they see that faith has won her crown? See, our Lord is returning, and he's returning with the Kodeshim, and he's returning in power. He will not die a second time. I, I don't believe I'm going to die. I believe that I'm going to be right there with Christ as he comes to totally take dominion of this earth. And that time is soon. And now, to further encourage you, I want to finish this video by reading to you from John chapter 14. Let not your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. So this is Jesus. You know, believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house are many rooms. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself, that where I am you may be also. And you know the way to where I'm going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we don't know where you're going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him. I just love this verse. Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. You, you can't get a more powerful statement than that and the place that Jesus, the stumbling stone of all religions, Jesus is the stumbling stone of all religions. There's no other, there is no other religious figure that people use as a curse word. You'd never hear Buddha this, Buddha that, Krishna this, Krishna that, Muhammad this, Muhammad that. You never hear anyone curse someone or something in the name of any other entity. Why? Because there is only one name under heaven by which men can be saved. Jesus Christ is the manifest Son of God who came in the flesh. Jesus said to Thomas, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you had known me, you would have known my Father also. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Philip said to him, Lord, show us the Father, and that's enough for us. Jesus said to him, have I been with you so long and you still do not know me, Philip? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? 
Do you not believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? The words that I say to you, I do not speak on my own authority, but the Father who dwells in me does his works. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father is in me, or else believe on, on account of the works themselves. Truly, truly, I say to you, whoever believes in me will also do the works that I do. And greater works than these will he do, because I am going to the Father. Whatever you ask in my name, this I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask me anything in my name, I will do it. And then here is the mark of the overcomers. If you love me, you will keep my commandments. And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another helper to be with you forever even the Spirit of Truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it neither sees him nor knows him. You know him, for he dwells with you and will be in you. I will not leave you as orphans, I will come to you. Yet a little while, and the world will see me no more, but you will see me. Because I live, you also will live. And that day you will know that I am in my Father, and you in me, and I in you. Whoever has my commandments and keeps them he it is who loves me, and he who loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love him and manifest myself to him. Judas, not Judas Iscariot, said to him, Lord, how is it that you will manifest yourself to us and not to the world? Jesus answered him, If anyone loves me, he will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him and make our home with him. Whoever does not love me does not keep my words. And the word that you hear is not mine, but the Father's who sent me. These things I have spoken to you while I am still with you. But the Helper, the, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all that I have said to you. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. You heard me say to you, I am going away and I will come to you. If you loved me, you would have rejoiced because I am going to the Father, for the Father is greater than I. And now I have told you before it takes place, so that when it does take place, you may believe. I will no longer talk much with you, for the ruler of this world is coming. He has no claim on me, but I do as the Father has commanded me, so that the world may know that I love the Father. So be encouraged. This is the time. But Jesus promises that he will be with us. He will be with us in this time. We need to trust and we need to walk in his ways. And I believe it is important for us all to fully understand the world we live in. And that's why I want to encourage you to watch the full five and a quarter hour video that exposes Freemasonry. I believe it will wake you up to things that have escaped your notice until now. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that you will give those who hear ears to hear and eyes to see your truth. 